what's up everyone silly two primes back at you and y'all look at this man barricaded in church steeple after pointing gun at police a church in kensington has become a scene of fear as a man is said to be barricaded in the steeple officials declared the barricade situation monday night around 8:15 on the 700 block of East Cornwall Street. The police were called to the church after receiving reports of a man standing on a steeple at the church. Official says it was believed that the man was under the influence of narcotics. When officers arrived, officials say the man pointed a long gun at police. The barricade was immediately called. SWAT and tactical air were called in. No other details were released. Let's take a look at the video. Situation in Kensington. Their SWAT is on the scene at a church. Sky Fox is live over the scene. This is East Cornwall Street. Police say they have reports of a man on the steeple of a church there uh, with a gun just after 8 o'clock and they arrived. Officers say the man pointed a long gun at officers and that sparked this whole thing. So this is an active situation going on here at this church in Kensington. We'll get uh, more information here. Uh, as soon as we can, we will bring it to you live here on the Fox 29. Wow. So the, the man is up in a staple and he's barricaded and he's on the influence. And he pointed a long gun at the police. So I'm not, I'm wondering why they didn't, uh, not that it would have been okay, but I'm wondering, you know, they didn't shoot back. At what point did he point the gun at them? I guess when he was up in the steeple. But at any rate, um, so there's a man that's in the steeple and he's from Kensington. Um, he's in Kensington. So that's comes, uh, a short time after they did the, the cleanup down in Kensington. So obviously the, the, the residents that were living there, uh, had to disperse somewhere. So they're all over the place. Um, they dispersed and this is probably one of those people who were put out of the cleanup area. And um, I'm afraid that we're going to hear more about this stuff. Um, you know, they just got rid of them. They didn't give them any help. Got, you know, they didn't try to help the people. But I'm sure the people ran away anyway. It's just a mess. It's just a mess the way um, it has been down there and what's happening. So, unfortunately, the people that were living living down there uh that were made to leave where they could clean it up unfortunately they are they're pretty much displaced you know that was their home and now they're going to be all over the place and unfortunately causing havoc like this gentleman with a gun uh pointed at the police so um this story came out yesterday so um hopefully we'll find a follow-up story i just wanted to cover this um the story uh at the aftermath of them cleaning out kensington and here we are and this is um the situation at hand so um i hope that they were able to apprehend this man without having to off him um I'll do some little research and find that out uh if you guys know the story that i'm because i've been kind of late kind of late today because uh, i've been working and stuff so kind of this kind of uh this story kind of passed me by so i'm just i'm just finding it now so i figured i'd cover it because it's definitely interesting but i know something um is this a follow-up somewhere but I just wanted to um, cover this story. So if you guys know something, uh, could you drop it in the the um, the comments so everyone else can know? Because I know there's something 
that's come of this by now because it's already Tuesday. So do us a favor and let us know what you know about this story and what's happened, please. I really appreciate some updates down there, okay? Well, guys, just remember, as crazy as the world can be out there, keep your light shining bright, stay safe, and do the right thing. And please like and subscribe for the latest Philly crime news. We out.